Good evening. This is the 6 o'clock news on ACB TV D. I am Dan Pelletier. And I'm Travis Pinenberg. And welcome to the news. Our top story tonight, man falls in love with pig. For more than that, we will go to Travis. A man fell in love with a pig. Hilarity ensues. Thank you. Why'd you pass it to me? Well, usually when someone says thank you, you say, you're welcome. I'm sorry, that was completely rude of me. Completely. Next up, we go live to the uh, arena with sports. And that's when we'll splice in the interview. <laughs> We're here live at the ESPN newscast from this... Amazing soccer game with this soccer ball. And I'm here to interviewing Dan Pelletier to see what his analysis on the game is. Dan, how do you feel about today's game? Soccer sucks. I concur. Soccer is possibly one of the worst sports ever created by mankind. It's those Europeans. They think they know everything. They're not like, oh, blah, 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 blah. And they make this game called soccer. Football. Whatever you call it. How do you feel about this? Soccer sucks. Do you have any prejudice against the Europeans? Europeans suck. How about the Frenchmen? They're alright. What is wrong with you? Frenchmen are possibly the worst people. Well, when I was three, I got this ingrown toenail fungus. It's pretty nasty. And uh, I grew an extra digit. I see. Now, what is your theory on uh, numbers? Numbers are bad. <laughs> I am part of the uh, P A N people against numbers. We need to get numbers out of America. Because you see, it's the numbers that are ruining our good America. We're here. We're about baseball, apple pie, and duct tape. Nowhere in that does it say numbers. Back to the point of soccer. Now, which do you say you prefer, soccer or football? Well, nothing beats a good old football game when you're down there in the mud, in the dirt, and you're just watching two teams really go at it. It's a... Hey, man, f*** you. Excuse me, sir. I'm sorry, FCC. I apologize. Thanks for that update. And now we check in the weather with Stu, the weatherman. Oh. Sorry about that, folks. That was my friend Snowy. I actually made him in this evening's recent snowfall. As for the weather, currently it is cold and dark and snowy. Uh, tomorrow's weather shall consist of cold, sun, and snowy. Actually, tomorrow it will be kind of cold. But you know what? There's a really cold breeze right now. And oh. Oh my god, I should have done that. Please make sure you do not let your children fall backwards into the snow while wearing minimal clothing. This is an extreme safety hazard that is uh, occurring across America. You, <laughs> you need to be aware of this. Fight! Thanks, Stu. Sounds great. And now we go to with our next story. We go back to Travis. I have no idea what's going on. Film at 11. Thank you. And now we go live to the field with Tommy McCarthy. Hello, world. I am here today to interview Travis Pineberg with a random question. He is not aware of what this current question is, so let's ask him. Travis, how do you feel about black people in American society? Black people? Are... Yes, black people. Black people. Black people. You want me to talk to you about black people? Yes, people whose skin is black. Define black people. People whose skin is black. Use it in a sentence. <laughs> I hate black people. I concur. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Amazing. And we'll come right back to you after this commercial break. Hello, I am Dan Pelletier, and I am here to give you a product that you can use in your everyday life. Have you ever been in a conversation and felt stupid and left out because they were talking of something of a higher intelligence than you? Well then boy do I have the product for you. 
101 things you need to know. With such amazing facts such as the five kingdoms of things that live. What is a cell? Prefixes and suffixes. Clowns. And many more interesting facts. This book is very easy to read. You could read it like this. Or you could read it like this. And if you really wanted to, you could read it like this. This book is available now for just five easy payments of 19.99.99.99. So buy this book today, or else. Hi, welcome back. And there is a big bug on the wall. No, really, look. That is a big bug. That is what she said. I mean, the camera doesn't do this thing justice. And now we go back to the field with another interview. So, what is your opinion on Pepsi? Pepsi? Pepsi. I'm not sure what that is, sir. <laughs> you don't know what Pepsi is? No. Do you live under a rock? Yes. Is it a pretty rock? It is a very pretty rock. What color is this rock? Red. Red? Yes. Red. Yes. Is that racist? I don't believe it is. Are you being racist? No, no. I think you're being racist. I'm really Do I have to call the ACLU? No, no. Wait, yeah. don't, don't, don't. Interview over. That was frightening. Travis? I have a sneaking suspicion that Dan is not wearing pants. And now for some product placement. Oh my god, that book is floating. <laughs> that was some product placement. Oh god! Ow! <laughs> I am now reporting that a local newscaster has gone down in action. Let's cut to this. <laughs> my fellow Americans, We've called this press conference today in our time of war to announce we have a new podium for the press conferences. And isn't it fantastic? Mission accomplished. There's no time for questions. Thank you. Amazing. Amazing! I am now talking farther away to prevent mic feedback, and so this does not hurt you. <laughs> Please get that away from my mouth. That's what she said. And now we go live to the field with something else. <laughs> 